For this first project, you're going to need a wooden cutting board of your choice. Next, on a regular piece of paper, I have printed one of my daughter's artwork pieces, and I don't want to use the original, so I've printed it on a regular sheet of paper. Next, just to make this a little easier, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the artwork. It doesn't need to be perfect because I just need to be able to have access to those words. So go ahead and trim that up here. And then I'm going to place it onto my cutting board and I'll be taping it into place to kind of hold it. But before I do that, there's one more thing I need to do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use this transfer paper and I'll center this up first. And then I'll be placing my words over that. Once I have it all centered up, I'm gonna tape it into place. Now I use stencil tape because it's nice and easy to peel up. Painter's tape works great as well. So now with a pen, all I do is trace over my daughter's handwriting. And what this will do is transfer it onto the wood so that I can follow it with the next step. And it's preserving my daughter's writing. Now it is important to note whatever you're using on your cutting board, this will touch food. So one thing you'll want to note is what products you're using that's going to touch your cutting board. Now it is recommended that whatever side you've done something to, you use the other side for your cutting because that way your um, cutting board isn't compromised for touching food. Now I'm simply going to peel up the transfer paper and now you can see that the ink from the transfer paper has gone onto the cutting board and we'll be working with that next. Now I've got my wood burning tool. It is heated up onto high and I picked the right tip that I wanted to use for this. All I have to do now is simply follow along the transfer marks and it will burn into the cutting board. Now sometimes working with the grain is one of the hardest parts you'll experience working with this. But ideally what you're doing again is just preserving your child's um, handwriting. The other thing you could do is recipe cards with this. There's a lot of variations on what you can do with a wood burning tool and what you can preserve for either a gift. So I'll go ahead and keep doing this and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is all completed and it's nice and wood burned into the cutting board so I can clean it and do whatever and this will not come off. For this project, we're gonna use water slide decal transfer paper. It is transparent that I'm using. You can also get better for dark surfaces, and this is good for inkjet printers. So I made it the right size. I'm going to be placing this on a mug. So the first thing I need to do after I print, or print the uh, image, the artwork, my son made me an origami baby Yoda, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this little piece. Now it is clear, but anything you leave exposed will show up on the surface you're using this for. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it big for now and I'll show you what we're gonna do with the next step. So I needed to wait for the ink to dry and now I'm going to place it onto the cardboard. I'm gonna give myself a glove to protect my hands when using the spray paint I'll be using. And I'm gonna be using Krylon Clear Coat. So I'm gonna give it a good shake, get it good and mixed up. And the next thing I wanna do, keep my distance away from it, but I need to coat that image with the clear coat. And then I'm gonna let it dry completely. Now that the spray paint is dry, I place it in the water for approximately 30 to 60 seconds, but make sure to follow your instructions from your transfer paper. Next, I carefully remove the transfer from the paper. I bring my mug over. Now I have cleaned this mug. I have cleaned this mug with 
alcohol prep pad. And now I carefully place the artwork where I want it to be on the mug. And I'm gonna to try to smooth it out so I get it nice and straight, get all the bubbles out. Now that it's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry completely. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 230 degrees. But again, follow your package instructions. For this project, I'll be using print and transfer paper. So just like before, I printed this onto the transfer paper following the instructions. And now that the ink is dry, we're ready to move on to the next step. So the first thing I wanna do is wash and iron my dish towel. Next, I'm gonna take the image and flip it upside down and try to center it up where I think I want it to go onto my dish towel. Then I take my iron and I just slowly go over back and forth over the top of the transfer paper, transferring it onto the dish towel. Now I need to do this for approximately 30 seconds, but each, just read the instructions on whatever kind you use because that will determine how long you need to do it for. So I will go ahead and keep ironing this and when it's ready, we'll go ahead and peel it up. Now we need to wait for it to cool a little bit. And the best way to test this when you're ready to peel it up is just to start pulling on a corner and seeing if it comes up nice and smooth. If it does not, it might mean you need a little extra time. So then you're just gonna go ahead and iron it some more. So we're gonna wait for this to cool for a second and then we'll peel it up. Now we're gonna carefully pull it away. And like I said, if a piece comes up and you're not sure that it's all there, go ahead, put it back down and iron it some more. But we're gonna continue just pulling it up till we're all the way done. And there it is. Now I have a dish towel with my daughter's art on it. And I hope this inspires you to preserve some artwork of your own. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.